in what ratio must a grocer mix two varieties of tea worth 60 rupees a kg and 65 rupees a kg so that by selling the mixture at 68.2 rupees a kg he may gain 10 percent well we have been given the selling price of this mixture and this selling price if he sells the mixture at this selling price he gains 10 percent so let us first find out the cost price so the selling price is 68.2 it is equal to a 10 percent increase in the cost price remember profit and loss so this is basically 110 percent of the cost price now we are going to find out cost price so cost price is equals to 68.2 times 10 that's 682 divided by 11 and this is equals to 62 now this is the cost price now you mix these two varieties of tea that's at 60 rupees per kg and 65 rupees per kg in such a way that you get the cost price of 62 rupees so this is the mean price right because we are mixing these two teas to get 62 rupees as the mean price and we are selling this mixture at 68.2 so basically what we have is the cheap variety which is 60 so c is equals to 60 and the costlier variety so d is equals to 65 and now we have found out the mean price that's 62 so m is equals to 62 on the left hand side i have 65 minus 62 and that's 3 on the right hand side i have 62 minus 60 that's 2 so the ratio of the quantity of the cheap variety upon the quantity of the costlier variety that will be 3 by 2 so that's what we have been asked so the ratio is 3 is to 2 option a how many kilograms of sugar costing rupees 9 per kg must be mixed with 27 kgs of sugar costing 7 rupees per kg so that there may be a gain of 10 percent by selling the mixture at rupees 9.24 per kg so we have been given the selling price that's 9.24 rupees per kg let's find the cost price so 9.24 is equals to a 10 percent increase in the cost price that's 110 by 100 times cost price so the cost price is equals to 92.4 by 11 and that's equal to 8.4 so we have the mean price ready 8.4 rupees so the mean price m is equals to 8.4 the cheaper rate is 7 rupees per kg so c is equals to 7 and d is equals to we have been given 9 rupees per kg so by allegation rule we can find out the right hand side that's 8.4 minus 7 so it will be 1.4 and on the left hand side I have 9 minus 8.4 and that's 0 0.6 so according to allegation rule QC by QD is equal to 0 0.6 by 1.4 that's 6 by 14 and that's if we divide both of the numerator and denominator by 2 we get 3 by 7 now when the cheaper quality's quantity is 3 kgs the costlier quality's quantity is 7 kgs right now we have been given the quantity of the cheaper sugar right that's 27 kg so 27 kgs is the quantity of cheaper sugar we have been asked what is the quantity of the sugar costing 9 per kg and that 9 per kg is the costlier quantity right so 27 will be how many let's cross multiply and equate x is equals to 27 times 7 by 3 3 nines are 27 and 7 nines are 63 so 63 kgs should be the kilograms of sugar costing 9 rupees per kg mixed with 27 kgs of sugar costing 7 rupees per kg so option d is the correct answer in what ratio must water be mixed with milk to gain 16 to by 3 percent on selling the mixture at cost price so the two quantities here are water and milk now water is free so its price is 0 rupees per kg 
let the cost price of milk be 1 rupees per kg. Now it is said that the mixture is sold at cost price. That means the mean price is the cost price. So let us first find out what is the cost price. So if we assume that the selling price of the mixture is 1 rupee per liter and there is a gain of 50 by 3 percent. So 1 is equals to 50 by 3 percent increase of the cost price. So that's 100 plus 50 by 3 of 100 of the cost price. So we have 1 equals to 350 by 3 upon 100. So that can be written as 350 upon 300 times the cost price. Okay, so 5, 6 are 30 and 5, 7 are 35. So therefore the cost price is actually 6 by 7. We've got the cost price. So this is equal to 6 by 7. Now let's apply the allegation rule. We have on the left hand side I have 1 minus 6 by 7 and that's 1 by 7. On the right hand side I have 6 by 7 minus 0 that's 6 by 7. So the quantity of cheap upon the quantity of costly is equals to 1 by 7 divided by 6 by 7. The 7 and the 7 get cancelled out. What I have is 1 by 6. So 1 is to 6 is the ratio. Option A.